back to another My Damn Toys. Ugh. That was terrible. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another fantasy booking style video for you guys. We are back at it. As you guys know, coming up on this Sunday, I know it kind of just feels kind of lost. I don't know if it's like the, the fog after WrestleMania. You know, you kind of go through the WrestleMania drought or something like that after that where you're just feeling kind of bleh. And yeah, I don't know. It's just like wrestling's like eh. And it's just like eh. Well, today, guys, we're on the road to Backlash. Like, Backlash is literally like Sunday or something something, right? May 16th coming up this weekend. They're calling it WrestleMania Backlash. Okay, in these in these fantasy booking videos, I take over, right? Vince hands me the keys and he says, whatever you say says go. Whatever you whatever you say goes. So this is what the, the video is all about. Vince McMahon has handed me the keys to the kingdom. He says what you say goes. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to book, you get to say it, you get to spray it. This is how it goes. Well, the first thing I'm doing as I walk into the office, Brad, is we're getting rid of WrestleMania Backlash. What a dumb Dumbass name. WrestleMania Backlash. WrestleMania Backlash. Just call it Backlash. How about that? How about we just say Backlash? What do we need to put WrestleMania in for? Oh, it's because we gotta get the clicks and we gotta put WrestleMania in front of it so people know that it's something about WrestleMania and then we can get the extra clicks. Dumb. Just call it Backlash. People know Backlash. I don't, I just, God in heaven. Anyways, guys, we're gonna run through the Backlash card. Backlash. Backlash. We're gonna run through the Backlash card, and we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna take you through the entire card, breaking down the matches, and how I would fantasy book them if I was in charge. Vince came in and said, MDT, here you go. You get to run the show. Let's do it, guys. Let's go ahead and book this show. I think there's six matches on the card, and let's just shut the hell up and dive into it. Let's start off with match number one. Now, match number one is going to be The Miz taking on Damian Priest. Now, I don't really care for this match. I don't really care care about the outcome. You know, this is just one of those feuds that I'm just over at this point. I thought the Bad Bunny match was pretty solid. I thought he was impressive. I don't really care for The Miz and Damian Priest. This should just be a stepping stone for Damian Priest. The Miz has been around long enough. I'm giving Damian Priest the win over The Miz. I've never really been a Miz guy anyway. I respect him and everything, but Damian Priest is getting the win. Lumberjack match. I don't know what else comes out of this, but Damian Priest should take care of The Miz pretty easily. There's not really much to say about that one, Bradley. Up next, we have our SmackDown Tag Team championship match. Now, this one's kind of interesting for me. Now, I don't know how I feel about them being called the Dirty Dogs. That's just kind of weird to me. I don't know. It's just kind of an odd name. But we have the Dirty Dogs. Not a very good name. But Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode defending their SmackDown Tag Team Championships against Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio. Now, I thought a few months back that we were going to be getting the Mysterio family taking on, like, three other, uh, three other different tag teams at WrestleMania. I thought there'd be like a, you know, like a fatal four-way tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Titles and Dominic and Ray were going to win at WrestleMania, captivating this, you know, monumental WrestleMania moment that they plug every single year, and it'd be a cool memory for Ray and Dom and all these things, but that ended up not taking place. Very shockingly, I thought for sure that'd be a thing. WWE would plug it every every second of every day, but they ended up not going with that. So here we are at WrestleMania Backlash. I mean, it's basically WrestleMania, right? So we have the Dirty Dogs defending against Ray and Dominic. I think Ray and Dominic, I would give them the win here, you know, I mean, it's just... It, it makes for a cool moment. You know, there's not really any harm in it. The tag divisions are kind of lackluster. They've been lackluster for a while now, you know, so it's like it's not even that thing. Make for a cool moment, cool memory. Go ahead. I would give Ray and Dominic the tag titles. Maybe cool, you know, go on this like King Griffey Jr. and Senior run right here with the tag titles and kind of have them make that bond special there, and that would be cool. That's what I'd run. I'd run that. I think that would be kind of uh, kind of a cool moment there, and we could get that. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Bianca Belair taking on Bailey. Now this one, where is Bailey? Bailey's over here. All right, we have Bianca Belair taking on Bailey. Now this one should be a damn classic, honestly. Like this matchup should be really damn good. But you guys know as well as I do, you know, we had our crowning moment at WrestleMania, right? We had we had Bianca and Rhea Ripley get crowned at WrestleMania. It was the big moment. It was the big it was all the good stuff. So I think that no doubt about it, Bianca has to retain here. I think that's just the ultimate move, you know. If we're really going to build her up as this legitimate star, let me fix this. I don't like that. If we're building up Bianca and Rihanna, <laughs> what, the, what the hell am I saying? 
If we're building up Beyonce and Rihanna, like, what the hell are you talking about, Brad? If we're building up Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley as the big women in the division, then, the, uh, then you know, Bianca has to win here, right? She has to take down some of those top stars, build up that legitimacy. She had the crowning moment. She's had all these excellent things, and we're really going to continue building her. We can't cut off her momentum right now. She will defeat Bayley in a classic, you know? That's, I mean, that's pretty much the stuff of it. Bianca defeats Bayley straight up. Good stuff right there. Now, if we move over to our other women's match, we have the Raw Women's Championship match, Asuka. We have Rhea Ripley. Asuka's not even the champion. I don't, I don't know why she has the belt right now. I don't think I ever changed it from WrestleMania, so that is my bad. Rhea Ripley is the champion, all right? Rhea Ripley's the champion. That's on me. That's, that's all on me. All right, so you have a pretty interesting dynamic coming into this matchup because we have the triple threat. Now, the card is actually looking pretty good. Like, I'm kind of excited for this card just to kind of see how it all plays out, but you guys know that Robo has to come in here and take on in the triple threat. So we got Charlotte, Rhea, Asuka. Their history all kinds of ties, you know, all kind of ties in. We had Charlotte and Asuka do war. We had Rhea and Charlotte do war. We had Rhea and Asuka do war. So now we have the triple threat. This should be really fun. There should be a lot of uh, good stuff in this matchup. The only thing that I'm concerned about is it seems like Rhea and Asuka don't have the best chemistry. Like they kind of, I don't know, a lot of their matches have been a little wonky. Like when they tie up, they don't get things correct and it kind of goes goes over and uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but I've noticed some botchiness in their matchups and they're two terrific talents. They're two of my favorite women's talents in the world and for them to be, you know, doing that together, it doesn't even make sense. It's like, how is this even possible? But, you know, sometimes people don't have the best chemistry, but coming into this matchup, man, just like I said with Bianca, if we're going to put Rihanna over, you know what I'm saying? Seriously, though, if we're going to put over Rhea and we're going to make her build up strong, I have to have her go over Asuka and Charlotte here. It's the only way to do it and I would do that, continuing to build both of those talents for the future. And it'd be a huge marquee moment for her to beat Charlotte and Asuka in the same matchup. The only thing that terrifies me is, I swear to God, if uh, Asuka gets pinned by Charlotte, huh, I'm going to have to fight someone. But this is my predictions video. We'll get into that later. But Rhea Ripley would go over both of those ladies. I think that's the way to book it, and I'm going to go with that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our big-time championship matchups. We got the WWE Championship, and we have the Universal Championship. Now, I guess let's just go ahead and go with... With, uh, let's go with Bobby Lashley's first. We'll go Bobby Lashley and the WWE Championship first. So you guys know as well as I do, we got Braun Strowman, Bobby Lash, and Drew McIntyre all tying up here. Triple threat match. Now this matchup should be really fun. You got a lot of big physical men. You guys know that Vince loves big muscly men rocking around in their trousers. He loves the big guys, right? He loves the big guys. Ah, God, that was a good stretch. Mm. I think I pulled my shoulder muscle. But Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and Braun Strowman this one uh, should be hard hitting. I hope that we get a hard hitting physical matchup and that's what we should get. Now, I think that Bobby Lashley gets the win, man. I think that Bobby Lashley gets the win. I think that's the only way to do this thing. I think Bobby Lashley retains here. We don't need to take the title off of him. Drew McIntyre doesn't need it back. Braun Strowman, you know, I'm not a big Braun Strowman guy. Don't need to put the title on him. Wouldn't make much sense for me, guys. And honestly, now, this is probably going to happen in a couple months, but if you really want to get people's eyes on Monday Night Raw man and you really want to do this thing I would say after the matchup Braun and Drew have been taken out out comes big man Brock Lesnar comes out and F5's Bobby Lashley the matchup that we've been wanting and asking for right Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar. I've been wanting to see this for a while now. This is how I would have it. You can have it in the show if you'd like. Now, I don't think this and the Universal Championship that I have in my mind will happen, but this would make for a really cool moment. Now, I think this will probably come at, like, Extreme Rules, I feel like. I feel like at Extreme Rules, this could happen setting up a SummerSlam match between Bobby and Brock. That's what I'm calling. I think that would be, like, the move. I think Extreme Rules set that up. Bobby versus Brock for SummerSlam is more than likely going to happen, but I think it would make for a cool wrestling. WrestleMania backlash moment where, you know, if you're going to put WrestleMania in the name, some big ish needs to happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got. And then last but not least, guys, we have our Universal Championship match, Roman Reigns and Cesaro. Now, I'm very happy for Cesaro to get this opportunity. It's just not the right opponent, right? It's like he's going up against Superman, all right? Like, there's no way that Roman Reigns loses here, right? But this is how I would do it, all right? I'd have a great barn burner. I'd have a, uh, an amazing battle 
banger of a matchup take place. Roman Reigns and Cesaro doing war. So nearing the end of the matchup, you guys know that the Usos are going to be on the outside. Well, Cesaro. So Cesaro gets the upper hand, man. He's going in and he's about to, uh, you know, he's, he's lining up for victory. It looks like he's about to win. Out comes Jey Uso, right? Jey Uso has been a thorn in the side of everybody that Roman Reigns has been taking on, right? He helped out at WrestleMania. He's been doing all these things. Well, Jey Uso comes out and he interferes in the matchup and Cesaro's like, oh, what the hell is this? Like, you know, it looks like Jey is about to ultimately help Roman win. Well, out of nowhere, Brad, here comes Jimmy. Jimmy comes out and, you know, he's been kind of on the fence, right? He hasn't been all into this thing and he's like, whoa, whoa, bro. What uh, what are you doing, Uso? Like, hell no. Nah. Like, I can't just let this keep happening. Whatever. He gets in the way. One thing leads to another. Roman Reigns accidentally spears Jey Uso. So Jey Uso gets speared. He's confused. He's like, oh, shish. What the hell is this? Cesaro gets the upper hand. Huge uppercut neutralizer. Big momentum swing for Cesaro. He lays him down. One, two, kick out. Roman Reigns kicks out. He's like, oh, hell. What the hell is that? Oh my god, what in the blue hell is going on? Cesaro shocked he's in the corner. He don't know what the hell's going on. Roman Reigns gets back to his feet, and he gets in Jimmy's face. He's like, what the hell are you doing, Brad? What the hell is this bullsh? Jay Uso gets back in the ring. Super kick to Jimmy Uso. So Jay super kicks Jimmy Uso and takes him out. So then Roman's like, yeah, bish. Yeah, what are you doing in my... What are you doing? So they take care of Jimmy for now. About that time, Roman Reigns is a little distracted. You know, he's, he's kind of paying attention to what Jimmy and Jay are doing. Cesaro's in the way there. Out of nowhere, here comes Edge. Roman moves out of the way. Bam! Spear. Spear to Cesaro. He was aiming for Roman Reigns, but he took out Cesaro. So Edge is back. You know, he lost at WrestleMania. Haven't seen him since. He takes out Cesaro, and Edge is like, ah, oh, shish. And then Roman Reigns uses that, goes for the cover. Uh, of course, referees have been involved in this. Like, referees have not seen any of this. You could have, like, a crazy ref bump or something like that. That's what starts the shenanigans, right? So the referee would have been out before Jay even got in the ring to hurt Cesaro or help out Roman Reigns. So by the time Roman goes for the cover, one, two, three, Edge accidentally costs Cesaro the matchup going for Roman Reigns. So from there, you would have Edge tied back in to the Roman Reigns feud. Cesaro would be entitled to his rematch and stuff like that. You could even set up a triple threat maybe for Money in the Bank or Extreme Rules or something like that. You also would have the element of Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso coming in there. So the next following weeks would lead to Roman Reigns pretty much dominating Jimmy Uso and being like look, I'm the way. I'm the head of the table. This is the way to do it, bro. And you could either, you could either have Jimmy Uso say hell nah or you'd have him join I'd have him join, be the bloodline, and dominate, ultimately. Maybe make it where Jimmy is so scared of Roman that he just does all of his dirty work like Jay, you know, where it's just like he's looped into that. And maybe you could have that unfold later at a later date, and you could end up having Jimmy and Jay. And you could end up having Jimmy and Jay face each other at WrestleMania or something like that, you know, where it's like good versus evil, you know. It's like one's like still backing Roman, one doesn't want to. You could eventually lead back to that storyline where Jimmy overcomes his fear of Roman. Roman Reigns. I don't know. Pretty beautiful stuff right there, but Roman Reigns is retaining the championship. I'd say get Edge back involved because we haven't seen it. And Jay pretty much costed Edge and Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania, so he's still kind of entitled to a matchup, so there you go. I'd love to know what you guys' thoughts are on this, but that pretty much does it for my fantasy booking of WWE Backlash. Not WrestleMania Backlash. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you. <laughs> oh my god. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think of my fantasy booking down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been